Um, dog meat, you're gonna have to stay here because you're gonna get yourself killed. You're. Oh no. Oh no, dog meat, come back. Uh, dog meat, dog meat. No, no. What are you doing? Why are you, why are you looking that way? I know. Shh. Uh, it's too dangerous for you. Go wait for me at Vault 111 or the other. Whatever the number is. A rue indeed. Yeah, get out of here. And you better teleport as well. Oh, he does. Okay. That's really important because we do have a fist, though. But the fist is not going to help us. I mean, I'm just, I'm never, I'm not good. I'm going to equip it out of last resort, but I, I'm not, I'm not good at this. There's death claws. That's what's going on. We are going to be able to get past them. Oh, also, do I have, did I? No. I did not equip my correct armor. Now we are a little bit better at sneaking. But really. I mean. Just how much better are we ever going to be able to get, huh? Anyway, that's not where we're going. So. We're okay with that for now. I think. But the death claws are close enough that they would be able to. So we found it. They would be able to see me from afar. And dog meat would definitely be able to see them. So it's better to do it like this. Vault 92. They really, really wanted to recreate the dungeon from the cutscene in the first game, didn't they? All of the time. Because they certainly didn't want to recreate anything else about, it from the, uh, about the first game. Uh, anyway, moving on. It seems like Vault 92 is open. Uh, which might not be a good sign. Let me take my shotgun out. I don't sense anyone. There's first aid boxes and energy weapons out front. But... Professor Malleus Audio Log V9201. Professor, did I read that properly? Because I don't think I read that properly. So far, the experiment is going exactly as planned. We are subjecting the residents to extremely low frequency white noise and in regular intervals through the loudspeaker system. Using the soundproof recording studios and the musicians was an inspired idea. <laughs> Kudos to the vault Tech Selection Committee on their shrewdness. That goes in line with what we read. Oh, we can close it from here. Oh, it's gonna make a hell of a racket. Yeah. I quiet quieten it a little. Just so it doesn't murder everyone. In the ears, because it murders me in the ears. But we can observe the mechanism. I think it's the first time we're observing the mechanism. Yeah. Either way, it definitely... What, what that audio log says... Definitely corresponds to what we have learned. What we have learned about Vault 92. It's trapped. What does that mean? Does it mean he was taken by people? After? The residents died? Or does it mean the residents were trying to protect it against the outside? And it was never taken? I guess we're gonna find out. Dang it! It's fine. That one hit me good. How did I not see that, though? I must say... I'm not really looking... All the time at the floor. 
so that might be the reason why I didn't see it. So we have the con a connection to the reactor room, another connection to another, actually to the equipment room. We're going to leave the other levels for later. Rigged shotguns. And we still can't disarm them. No big deal. Plastic skeletons. And a way down. Aha! Uh -huh. Fragmines. Not marked as owned. Curiously enough. But at least I saw that one. Hmm. Where are we? What is this? There's bloat flies around here. There's nothing written on the walls. What I'm wondering is... Oh, reactor room. Yeah. I, I was wondering, because this, this room over here looks very much like the room that is often found right next to the entrance. And I think it is like the room that we find next to the entrance of our own vault. Living quarters. Okay, let's check the other downstairs. This one with a plastic skeleton. Feedback loops. I did not see that before. Okay, pass this on after you get it. Gotta keep this crap off of the intra-vault mails. If you can hack the control panels, use their noise flush feature to spook the crazies. Works okay, and uh, it's kept me alive these last two days. But they're starting to catch on. We need to get organized and make an attempt for the vault door. It's our only chance. The crazies. Hmm. And this one is locked. Which is not a problem. At least not a lot of the time. Lots of plastic skeletons all over the place. With red paint. I heard sounds. That weren't... From here, more plastic skeletons with red paint. Yeah, did you hear that? I think it's uh, non-diegetic, though. I think I'm pretty much... I'm pretty sure it's just the... The the soundtrack. And the, another connection to the living quarters. The game is chugging hard. Don't know why. Potentially loading in enemies, for all we know. And this goes upstairs. But it's not the same area that we were in before. It's a different area. Also, this wall, these walls are really broken. And just empty rooms. It's just empty rooms. If we knew better, or if we didn't know better, didn't know better, that's how it said, um, we'd think that maybe they were rooms planned to have things, and they just didn't have time to, to put anything in the room. 92, it shows right there. Uh, but no, that's not how Bethesda does. They were always like that. Suitcase with pre-war casual wear for extra agility. Agility that we have no need for because I don't like using vats. Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. I do like that, though. I would, li I would prefer lying congressional style, but... Oh, no, it's just darts. Still haven't found a dart gun, I don't think. Maybe I have, I just don't know what they are. And it's the supply shop. Computer for the, the thing. I'm pretty sure. Ah. Oh. Had to try it again, because uh, I, I couldn't figure it out. We have email. It's not email, obviously, because email is trademarked after the 50s, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't exist in the world of Fallout. It's IntraVault mail. 
uh, and uh, there's there's a lot of them missing because this is the 476 and then there's a 482 and so let's read this to Richard Rubin overseer vault 92 from Gordy summer this is the fifth time I've requested that you allow me to release our supply of headphones and personal audio listening gear to the residents. It seems unfair that residents are required to listen to their music selections in the studio rooms. I have an ample supply of the type of equipment that would allow most residents to relax in their beds and enjoy their musical recordings. Please let me know your reasons behind this matter. Oh, and the reasons is because they have the loudspeakers doing experiments, I assume. I am pleased to announce that we now have strawberry pudding available in the vault store for 10 work credits. The supply is very limited, of course, so hurry down and not hurry up, hurry down and get some before it's all gone. Actually, hurry down is perfectly fine because it's uh, you hurry down here. It's, it's fine. It's not a, a composite verb. From your last mail, it seems we have a deal. I'll give you everything on your list in exchange for the weapon we discussed. Things are getting worse in this vault with almost half of the residents going crazy. I just want to be prepared. Don't worry, I'll lock the gun in my safe so no one can easily trace it back to your department. Well, that is... Uh, one solution. And I could unlock the safe, which I shan't do because the, I, I don't, I don't want to do it. It's experience. Very important. What do we have in here? Rat X and Stimpax. Okay. Well, oh wait, is that the... Did you see the laser pistol? I wonder if that's randomized. There's multiple guns in there. So I don't know if that's the safe in question. But it might have been the safe in question. What do we have in here? Oh! Didn't mean to do that. We are in the overseer's office. And there's a plastic skeleton and red paint. More plastic skeletons and red paints. A very easy lock that I can just force. Yeah, and get experience for it. Uh, I got blood in my face for touching things, I think. Not 100% sure how the blood works. You see it on the upper left corner of the screen? It's going away after a little while. But, yeah. This game and collision is weird. Um... Uh, Sometimes it's weird. Footlocker. Nah. A belt there. This is just the overseer's place. Why does the overseer have three bed, five, multiple beds? What is going on? These computers don't work. Okay, that goes elsewhere. Profe Professor Malleus audio log. Is that the second one? It is. We got the second one. Really nice. I'm a bit encouraged by the latest batch of data. It seems that 33% of the subjects are now lapsing into a trance-like state on occasion. When in this state, we're fairly certain that suggestion and programming of the subject can be applied. We've begun testing this by implanting subtle cues in affected subjects, making them scratch their ear or constantly fix their hair. So far, I'm happy to report a 100% success rate on this implementation method. You get them all to scratch their ear or fix their ear because their ear is bad. We also found a third... <sighs> Disaster today. One of our test subjects, V920717, has murdered three other residents in a fit of unbridled rage, the likes of which I've never seen. It took almost 23 shots before the security team took him down. This subject has no history of violence or mental instability whatsoever. My concern is that this subject is one of our most successful implant recipients, able to execute complex instructions during a trance state. We got a duck and cover just then. And of course we have in the audio log, we have the... the oh, duck and covers for explosives, of course. Uh, we have the start of the demise of this place. We have Richard Ruin's terminal over here and a bunch of personal entries. As per instructions, the broadcast... Oh, let me actually check the order. The order is... Yeah. As per instructions, the broadcast equipment for the White Noise, capital W, capital N, has been rerouted from the sound booths and tied directly into the entire vault's loudspeaker systems. 
I'll now be able to execute vault Tech Confidential Plan VM... No, sorry. VNMSCE, which stands for White Noise Mind Suggestion Combat Experimentation. I have three of Professor Malleus's team doing what I need to get done and hope to show some concrete results soon. I have the engineers make it so the white noise can be either triggered from the control center or at the local security consoles. The password to these consoles is that. Uh, so now we have the password for the security consoles, okay. The result of the white noise thing are even better than I could ever have imagined. The sheer strength and tenacity of combat suggestion implanted test subjects is incredible, exc exclamation mark. Imagine an entire army of people who would never disobey a direct order from high command and can fight until it takes over 20 bullets to stop them. This kind of is kind of interesting because it, it, uh, this, this is a trope, obviously, in, in fiction. But it's a trope that heavily relies on uh, the illusion that soldiers disobey orders when the orders are bad, which history has shown that, uh, no, they, they don't do that very often. That Some of them do, it's just not very often. So th this doesn't, this wouldn't, this wouldn't matter. This doesn't matter. This sort of complete obedience from soldiers, it's that you're already there. Yeah, it's, it's good. Anyway, uh, Mal Malus says the, the acronym that is impossible to read is a failure. So there's been a few deaths one step back, two steps forward. It's easy to suppress what everyone in the vault are calling, quote, crazies, unquote. I've added a command word in their suggestion implants. Simply say the phrase, quote, sanity is not statistical, unquote, and they will stop dead in their tracks. I think that's a reference to 1984. Sanity is not statistical. I remember this from 1984. It's been a long time since I read it, and mostly I just remember the, it's bad. The ending is bad. I mean, not bad as in badly written. It's it's all oh, bad things. Oh man. Anyway, uh, I've informed the guards of this, but I've told them only to use it when out of earshot of anyone else. So that I assume nobody else knows the passcode, which means they will die if they get attacked, or maybe they'll kill the, the quote crazies unquote. The command phrase is no longer working against the crazies. The these this time not. Uh, in between quotations. I don't know what the hell happened, but I'm losing control of the situation. If we don't get things under control soon, we're going to have a huge revolt on our hands. Malleus is inciting the rest of the vault into action. I'm afraid by the power invested in me... By the... There's many buys in this sentence. I'm afraid by the power invested in me by the Vault Tech Corporation. I have no choice but to have him killed. What a waste. Wait, who are you gonna get killed? Uh, mm. Malleus. You're gonna get Malleus killed. So Malleus isn't the Overseer, which we should know because it's Richard Rubin, the Overseer. And also, we have a hard-locked terminal over here. Fortunately, it's not hard-locked or hardly locked. It's just locked in a hard manner, and uh, we can hack it easily because that's how hard works. We can open the Overseer's tunnel or close it. Already? We barely explored the vault. I will do that. I will do that. But let me go into the other places. Like down here. A lot of barricades. The plastic skeletons must have been fighting after, I assume, everyone in the vault died. It was invaded by plastic skeletons. And, um... And yeah, they didn't have weapons, so they just squirted red paint at each other. We have sound testing in here. I don't hear anything working, which would be kind of funny. What is that? Oh, Meyer lurks. Huh. Um, should be kind of funny because the power is on. And by funny, I mean it would make total sense. Because the power is on. Pre-war book. Computers that don't work. What I'm really looking for, as you well know, is skill books. Those are the bread and butter of, of our exploration. Also, we're looking for a violin. I kind of forgot about that. We have a computer. With steam packs. Zoe Hammerstein's personal diary. It's so wonderful to be surrounded by all this talent. Little old me who can barely play the violin is sitting among some of the world's greatest musicians. I still can't believe my luck. Today was great too. I was able to record an entire symphony, ellipses. Aiden Symphony Number no. 3 in D minor. 
uh, should capitalize that. Either way, it was so beautiful, exclamation mark. I could barely keep up with everyone else in the string section, but they were so nice. They encouraged me instead of being stuffy jerks or something. Best of all, they record all of it and then let you hear yourself play on the studio's speakers. I can't wait until tomorrow. I hear we're doing a piece from Dvorak. Mm -hmm. I've been feeling a little sick lately. Kind of woozy after playing in the studio, usually. It gets so stuffy in that place, but it's sure worth it. I know I'm getting better just from watching my fellow violinists' techniques. They don't... Oh, that's not correct. Fellow violinists? Zzz. Because it should be plural, and it's just the single violinist, the techniques of her single violinist. They don't even mind giving me some pointers. Tonight, a bunch of us girls from the string section are going down to the rec hall for a dance. I hope that cute sound guy Parker asks me to dance. He's dreamy. And then we... Oh, no. The typos are getting harder. The violinist was on purpose. And I, it turns out it probably is multiple violinists. Oh, no! More of Zoe's thoughts. I am not feeling very good. I can't concentrate. I went to Dr. Benningson's office, but he just said it's stress and to take it easy for a while. I, I think all the time I am spending in the sound studio is making me tired. I can barely type another. I am shaking so much. And then we have the, kill me, please. Help me help. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that didn't go any. No, it's the, there's a few helps in there. I don't know what the order for all, all the help done me lost mine canned off stuff and get out uh it's uh it's bad it's bad it's bad oh no wait what was it zoe hammerstein's or hammerstein i don't know but uh, i never know because they change depending on family um was that the the great great grand the very very emphasis on the great 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 grandmother of uh the lady that we found that said the violins are never in tune um, maybe. Fifth audio log. Oh, no. I missed the fourth audio log. This is a great tragedy. We shall get the fifth one after the fourth. Because, you know, uh, we want to hear things in order. Oh, look at these tiny little data banks. They oh, you can knock these over? Oh, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, those are, those are supposed to be big, and they just... Made them tiny for that little section. What are you projecting? Nothing. Nothing. You're projecting nothing. Well, which makes sense because you don't have a reel. So, there's that. There's the lower area. Because one dog ain't enough and two is too low, it's me, three dog. Um... Uh, they get radio reception down here? That means, if I'm not mistaken, that they have antennas in the vault to allow radio reception to go to this jukebox. Uh, because that's what jukeboxes do, apparently. That means it isn't... Oh, Stealthway, another one. It isn't unwarranted of us to think that Vault 101 doesn't have those antennas because they're cut off from the outside world. Everybody has has Pip Boys, so the Pip Boys wouldn't work on the radio. Actually, the they do, don't they? And here's me. <laughs> no, I don't want that. Me is bad. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh, an oversight. I'm sure they really should set these areas to be. Isolated from radio, I'm pretty sure, because uh, because they the radiation shielding would protect from all of that. Also, the concrete, but mostly the radiation shielding. C which concrete? Oh, this requires a key. Where is that? Where does that go? Yeah, concrete is radiation shielding. By the way, uh, I know it's kind of weird to think about it like that. Nikola Tesla and me, and we have the sixth one. You jerk. Also, Nikola Tesla and me. I don't need it. Do I not need it? No, no, that's electric. That's uh, energy weapons. I do need it. Studio computer. What do we have in here? Open recording studio. And then we have mails in here. 
Hey guys, I'm not sure if this is ever or even worth putting an official trouble ticket in for, but I'm getting some sort of odd pitch overlay on my sound equipment. It's almost like another signal is leaking from maybe the vault intercom network or communications gear and piggybacking on everything I record. It's barely noticeable, but I can definitely see it on my scope. Though, do we have any cross wiring issues or faulty cable insulation problems on sea level? And the scope there is the spectroscope, I believe. I've never, I think I've seen one once, I never used one, and I'm definitely not even sure how to use that in, in music production. I just wanted to take this opportunity to send you an intro vault mail regarding the wonderful session you r performed this afternoon. The sound you coax from your Stradivarius, capital S, is bar none the most haunting, beautiful thing I've heard, uh, I've heard here to date. I was wondering if perhaps we could get together tomorrow evening and discuss this in a more intimate setting. And this is to Hilda Hengelbrecht. So there we go. We uh, Unless they had multiple Stradivarius in here, which is possible. Um, th then I, th we know who the, the correct person is. Hi, Hildy. Just wanted to send you a quick note. Our quote session unquote together yesterday was wonderful exclamation mark. I'm glad the studio doors lock. Otherwise, some of your stuffier fellow music musicians might not appreciate how closely you and I work. Make sure when we meet tonight, you bring your delicate instrument, giggity, and your violin too. Oh, it was a giggity. Okay. I have an idea of something we can do with the bow, a technique I've always wanted to try. And then more red paint. More red paint was sprayed all over the place. I have, I do not even, ooh, ah, okay, let's, let's skip right along that comment on the bow. 